here at home in the New Mexico Bowl. So the number one rushing offense in the nation gets going. A good block on the edge, and there goes Lamar Jordan. Out near the 30. Look in the back end, and it's deception. Everybody has their jobs. Great cut block out front by Gibson, and that gives Lamar Jordan the running room he needs up the sidelines. There's that inverted wishbone look on first down, and it's a give to Terry on Gibson, and he busts through. For the first time in New Mexico history, they have two 1,000-yard rushers. Tyrone Owens was doubtful with a foot injury, but now Gibson over 1K. You got to deal with multiple guys potentially getting the ball. The dive is the number one thing you stop. When you don't tackle the dive inside, that opens up a lot of things, puts a lot of stress on this defense for Wyoming. On first down and trying to bust through is Terry on Gibson. There is Wingard, their leading tackler, Colt Gauchi, who was a former quarterback in this triple option offense, is in the backfield as well. They go right back to Gibson, and he gets stopped by Kevin Prosser. Threw his helmet down and started shaking his head. And New Mexico takes over again, and this is what they've been doing in the early part of this game. Terry on Gibson from the 21 yard line in his own territory will get ducked down at the six in Wyoming. And the running plays are going to the other side. I mean, they just don't know where the ball carrier is going. And just too much speed by Gibson. I mean, listen, you got to get somebody in the first, second, third level to touch this guy. These guys back and beat San Diego State last week. Off to a rocky start tonight. Straight up the gut on the option. And Terry up to go up three touchdowns here in the first. Gibson is in for a touchdown. They're running the wrong way. They got to get dialed in on what's going on in the backfield. This one up the middle. Terry on Gibson with another huge run. Terry on Gibson will go 49 yards to the end zone. There's Waldo. Who's got the football? Does the quarterback have it? Does the tailback have it? Gibson has it. Nobody's home. Everybody's spinning around. Nobody can catch him. Nobody can tackle him. And all the injuries around him hasn't really been able to get that offense going. This offense has been rolling all night so far. Gibson, though, gets hit by Waka. That's where the decisions are going to have to be made by the committee. He's driving the 25. Good link pitch by Jordan. That's Arion Gibson. Takes it out across the 40 yard line. Antonio Hall. Oh. Second time. <laughs> That might take us to the end of the third quarter. Break, that was a break, that was a break in two I did, for you. I did the original running man back in the day. I used to kill it on the prom dance floors. <laughs> Big time stiff arm and shoulder pop from Terry on Gibson into Rico Gafford. He's flexing big after he is closing in on a 200 yard night. I don't see much of a bicep there, but that's a heck of a thump <laughs> on the outside. How about this for the dance between these two guys meeting up on the sideline? He's a little guy, 5'10", but man, he brought some thump there. Situated. Toss to Gibson in space against Gafford. This time Gafford does get him, but that puts him over 200 yards in the field here, Adam. Keep it on the ground. Gibson, head of steam, staying on his feet, trying to get to the 49, and it looks like he has enough for the this week. I'll tell you, you know, that Notre Dame, if that potentially opens, that might be something DJ Fleck, young, up and coming. You know, maybe they'll go a different round. He's, he maybe one more big play might give him the school record. And this is the most explosive.